Hi, in this video we will discuss about Oracle Quality subprocess. Subprocess acts like a bundle which contains a piece of code and which can be reused inside the same people or different people inside the compressor. And subprocess contains a fragment of people code. The benefit of the subprocess is that it increases the developer's productivity and chances of human errors got reduced. And basically, subprocess are two types. One is inline subprocess, and second one is standalone subprocess. And we'll see each one. Inline subprocess. Inline subprocess contains a group of activities which can be reused within the one people process only. And this I'm repeating again. The inline subprocess is used within the only one people process only. And this subprocess is not visible in composite view as this is a part of the parent people the inline subprocess is uh, so incorporated with the parent people only and this subprocess is visible in the palette under the subprocess category and we we'll, we need to use the call activity to call the call this subprocess inside the people process and we'll see what is standalone the standalone subprocess is similar to inline subprocess and except we can use it outside of the parent process so it can be reusable for any other peoples also and this subprocess contains a group of activities that can be reused across the other peoples process and similar to inline subprocess we'll, we use call activity to invoke the standalone subprocess and this subprocess is visible in the palette under the same subprocess category. And then few important points we need to remember while using the subprocess. And these are the very very important points. And first one is subprocess are only supported people version 2.0. It is this is not supported in people 1.1. And correlation sets are not supported in the Subprocess. This is very important. So without uh, so while using the correlation set, you need to remember the subprocess time. And if you are create a correlation set in the inline or standalone subprocess, it fails during the runtime. And subprocess cannot be shared between the multiple composites. So while well, subprocess are not uh, shared between one composite to another composite, and more. Yeah, and fourth point is monitor view is not supported from the inline subprocess. And monitor view is accessible from a people process by selecting and changing the monitor icon the above Oracle designer. Uh, we will create a one sample subprocess uh, project. Create a new project. I am selecting as a server project. And project name is Sub for okay inline underscore sub uh, standalone stand alone sub process sample okay this is a project name so I'm taking the initially as an empty template I'll open the XSD, I'll modify the schema as per my requirement. But first, for the, before that, we need to drag and drop the people process. Here, I'll select template as a synchronous template and I'm selecting the people 2.0 and change the name as a sub process people. So, I'll open the XSD. Uh, I'll change the schema as per my requirement. So integer, I'll change the data type as integer, and input uh, input one to copy and paste it to one more time and change it to two. 
and here also I'll change the integer result element integer integer so it's an addition result addition addition result and copy and change it to subtract sub subtract result so good and see the design mode open input 1 input 2 and result addition result and subtract result so addition result will do, will do in a inline uh, sub process and subtract will do in a standalone sub process okay and uh, open the double click on the depilator see click on the create how to create a inline sub process here I'll create an inline sub process name is like a addition addition sub process process okay click okay the addition of sub process was created and close and save all see in inline sub process not visible to the composite and here we we'll select the inline sub process like this and here just drag and drop the assign activity and change it to add add numbers numbers and here we need to create the three parameters like addition input one and select as a what is it uh, integer integer okay uh, rest of the variables are created in the source code level just see the variable is created here I'll copy so this is a very uh, add very add input to and add input result result and come back to C oh sorry so process and C three variables are created successfully fine and in addition uh, double click on add numbers and see the variables are visible so addition of two numbers right and click on the add numbers and which numbers we want to add add input 1 plus add input 2 assign to point the result was stored in the a, uh, add input result and come back to the main main process so we can call the sub process using the call activity it is an oracle extension drag and drop the call activity and double click on the call activity and change the name is addition addition call sub process and still the sub process like this and here we need to copy the Values uh, assign the values to input a input uh, a input one a input two. So and see here by expression you can assign the uh, our input variables to subtract input variables. Assign copy one. We copy this one. Fine. Expression and ch change it to two. Sorry. Two. Okay. Fine. And third one is no need to the result was available in this uh, a input result then unselect the and we transfer to the a result a input result will copy to our result of variable so for that one we need to create one temporary variable like uh, addition temp variable and type is integer and see the result was stored in addition temporary variable and co copy and paste so select uh, ok and save all and we, the, we need to try the result was stored in the temporary variable and the temporary variable are assigned to output variable and for that one we use assign activity I will change to assign output 
the result was stored in here and assigned to addition result okay and we'll deploy this and test So deployment finished and refresh. Yeah, inline suppose right. Save the project and copy the wisdom. We'll test in SOAP UI. I'll pass 12 and 10 and test see 22 is the result okay yeah and come back to JDeveloper so uh, this we can do in different way like uh, instead of a uh, well, as it term use the temporary variable and copy to temporary variable to main variable so directly we can do it in here itself so just we can copy this variable to addition result variable like this but this is only available in line sub process so for out uh, standalone sub process is not uh, it's not possible that is the reason we go we gone through this way okay uh, for inline suppose was done and fine we'll go to main debug yeah yeah i'll show you this see this in sub process category inline sub process okay come to our composite and drag and drop the sub process into composite and name it as a subtract subtract sub process okay In the sub process, so I'll create a three variables like the previous one, like a sub, sub input, sub input one, and the type as a XML type as an integer. Apply. The rest of the things will do it in the source code and save all. Come to source code and here. And this is two, and this is assign input, no subtract input result. Okay, fine. And drag and drop the assign activity, change the name as a subtraction. So, drag and drop the expression builder and subtract input 1 minus subtract input 2 the result is available in as input result ok apply ok and see it's not connected we can call you already we know the uh, using call activity we can call the sub process so already we this is inline sub process uh, I'll do flow. I'll use flow activity parallelly to addition and subtraction. For that one, the flow flow activity. I'll place this one. Where is it? Here. I'll place this one here. And here I'll call uh, using where the call activity is available in subtraction, right? They are like extensions here. Double click on it and change it to subtract 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 call sub process call subtract sub 
process process okay and here I'll select subtract sub process and the same will assign like this using expression builder I'll copy assign one and same as assign input two fine and for result we need to copy just on un uncheck the copy by value for the result and here I'll create variable like a temporary variable for addition subtraction right sub subtraction should temp variables okay I'll change the data type to integer Okay, I'll select this variable. Right? Okay, fine. So good. And uh, I need to add one more like a subtraction input variable to right. And uh, one more thing in the sub process the category is showing sub process. Okay, just refresh it. It shows two only. Okay, before I'll deploy it, we'll see later. So deployment finished again. We'll test it with the same result. Clear this. See the addition result is 22 and subtraction result 23. We'll try it on another result like that. So 100 minus 10. Okay. Now 110 and 90. And thank you.